always talks about Hey him. guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And that wasn't a, a beer can, that was just a can of seltzer. I'm not cool enough to drink and play games at the same time. So, I'm doing another live playthrough, and I'm doing that because this level coming up is kind of a downer. It's one of my least favorite stages. I just want to get it out of the way. So, I'm going to save myself some time by, uh, by commentating and playing at the same time. And we've got a ways to go, so let's dive right in. Oh, yeah. It definitely looks like South Dakota. Although, who knows? Maybe it does. I, I've never been there. Never really thought it'd be so dry, though. Oh, that was a cute dog. Oh, a snake. Oh, no! No, turn around! No! 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 The dog got bit. I'm not sure what uh, that scene had to do with anything. I guess it's just because it kind of followed the lyrics of the song. I guess, right? Oh, here we are. Dexter Industries. Okay, Snake. Alright, Snake, let's do this thing. I mean, Sam Fisher. Snake Fisher, Metal Gear Conviction, whatever. Alright, so basically, uh... This level of the game... Reminds me a lot of Splinter Cell. So... Yeah, I don't know, I might play it like, uh... Like Conviction, you know, where you go and you murder everyone. Hmm. It's kind of an odd mascot for a weapons company, you know, I, I would always think, uh, you know, people who buy, bought, you know, weapons, men for killing people would be more serious and, you know, they, they wouldn't want to joke around and, whoa. So anyway, um, actually, fuck that. This is the hard way to go through. If you're really slick and you play through this stage a thousand times, you can sneak into a shed over there and steal a key card that lets you into a a spot that uh that lets you steal an outfit without knocking anyone out. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> let's uh let's knock in this guy's Wrangler over here, whatever this is. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not really a Jeep Wrangler, is it? Yeah, it's something else. I, uh... I'm not really a cars guy, per se, but... I've been valeting cars off and on for the past two and a half years now, and, uh... uh I've, I've gained some appreciation for, for vehicles. You know, consumer vehicles. And, uh, I really like the Jeep Wrangler. Who's there? Oh, uh, just me. Just me and the chickens. There you go. What the fuck are you wearing around your neck? This ain't Afghanistan, dude. Alright. Now, you think, uh, you think you could hide this guy in the trunk of Wade's car, but you can't. You can't put anything in, in Wade's car. I'm not sure why. Oh, well. I think this is the last time we'll be seeing it. Hey, hold on a second. Where'd the little skull go? Where'd the... Oh, may wait. Maybe this is a different car, is it? Oh yeah, the shifter's different. Huh. Did did we see where he got this this one? Oh right, he got it outside of the uh the barber shop. Not sure whose car it's supposed to be. Oh well. Anyway, now that we're dressed up like uh There you go. Yeah, not nothing suspicious about <laughs> some guy climbing through uh there we go. We have to deactivate the, uh, the security, of course. Okay. Oh. 
instinct is very important in this level because there is only one outfit for oh shit shit what the fuck oh, okay cool um there's only one outfit for uh hold on a second for most of this most of this level Whoa. Most of this level, there's only the mercenary outfit. And because of that, uh, you have to be really sneaky and sneak around. So anyway, I just stole that that uh, key card, and it's going to let us into... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, that was close. Uh, it's going to let us into the shed here. And like I mentioned before, if you're slick enough and you've played this level enough times, which I haven't because I hate it, uh, you can get in here and steal an outfit of your own. Yeah, here we got the A74U. I remember a gun like this from the first Call of Duty Black Ops game. It was really cheap and really overpowered until they nerfed it. Speaking of Call of Duty, oh, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, so here's the alternate outfit. I guess this guy just gets hot easily, so he decides to do away with all the, the, the gear. I think I'll keep that, because honestly, I get hot pretty quickly, too. You know, even in the winter time, uh, I get warm pretty quickly, so... I tend to dress in thinner layers. Except for my gloves. Hard to find a good pair of gloves. What are you doing? Why are you standing like that? Oh, is it against the rules to stand with your hands in your pockets? <laughs> hey, buddy, I know. I'm, I'm a valet. We, we can't put our hands in our pockets. Not when we're outside. Uh, in front of the guests, because that doesn't look professional. And, uh... Let's see here. Ah, uh, no, nah, we don't need to do that shit. He's just... He's looking the other way. I think he has another really boring, stupid conversation with another soldier man if he... If we wait long enough, but I don't really feel like doing that. Okay, so, that was the last, uh, of the security stuff, something. And now we just gotta walk over here. Okay. Yeah, nice. And there is some, uh, evidence over there if you want more points, but who gives a shit? Oh, hey, their, their Kevlar armor has Dexter Industries on it. And one thing... <sighs> I really wonder is, I mean, yeah, of course you want to have security at uh, at your weapons factory, but all these guys are dressed like soldiers in the Middle East. I don't, I don't understand why that is. I mean, are they expecting to go to war or something? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, they must be playing Goldeneye for the N64. Okay. You remember that as kids, for you who are old enough to remember Goldeneye? Um, actually, we could ruin this guy's game, but fuck Where? it. There we go. Pew, pew, pew! I wonder what these guys are playing. What? Oh, looks like they're playing some kind of a Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I remember that game. I had this... Well, actually, I never had any versions of it, but... I don't think you should be here. What? Oh, now you've done it. I'm gonna play this game like it's fucking conviction. Ah, die, motherfucker. I'm Sam Fisher. Uh, 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 die, die, all of you, die, mark and execute, die, die, die. Ah, ah. Alright. Um, I know you guys are just waiting for that, right? Die, motherfucker. Die, die, die. 
I die! Woo! Yeah, that was fun. Who the fuck are you douchebags playing? Shut up! Get over here! Okay, um, there's really nothing in this stage, you know? I mean, well, nothing here. Steal this key card. Lots of key cards to steal. There's a map that means that. What? Look at that! What the fuck? What the fucking slobs? Playing your fucking video games and shit? Ugh. Alright, um... So, yeah. I don't understand... I mean, I guess I understand why they made this a section, but... There's so little there. There are those two guys playing video games, and that's it. You know, there's nothing else particularly interesting. It's really easy to sneak through this part of the game. This part of the stage, which is really bizarre, considering how difficult some other sections are. Oh, it's so bright outside. Oh, man. Oh, there's Dexter Industries. And, uh... Okay, that was weird. A helicopter. So, uh... Huh. What's with all these silos and smokestacks? I don't get that. What are they doing in a weapons factory that requires so many smokestacks and silos? They have lots of grain for the troops or something? I don't know. And for some reason, this scaffolding or whatever it's supposed to be is falling apart. And there's also a water mill or something? I mean, it's an old mine, so I guess water mills have something to do with mines or something. I don't know a whole lot about mining. Hello. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Well, did you try uh, <sighs> try to restart? Yeah, is the little green light on the modem is it blinking? Yeah, the one that says DSL. What well, is this guy moonlighting as uh, a yeah, tech support or something? I, I'm kind of in the middle of something here, but give me a few minutes and uh, I'll get there as soon as I can. Well, no, no, you won't. You'll die. Huh? Okay. Uh, this this little. Oh, shit. Oh, well, whatever. Um, right, like I was saying, these proximity mines are amazing. Who uh, the hell is that? Stop looking at me. Um, die. Die. What? The game told me you were gonna die. Oh, man, I, I feel... I feel so I feel like I've been lied to you know the game told me you would die and you didn't die shut up stop snitching oh shit stop s oh damn it um Okay. Reload these bad boys and get to work. Wait, there's only one guy who knows who I am. Where are you, you jerk? So... Seems like everyone knows I'm here now. Oh well. Oh, more evidence. Great. More points. Uh... Where the fuck am I going? Oh, okay. Here we go. Anyway, I feel like it's easy to get turned around the stage, even though... Even though it's really just a straight-up corridor. That guy's dead. But this stage is also fun to, sh to be a shooting stage in, too, I think. My opinion. Oh, come on, you bastard, stick your head out. Damn it, I'm out. 
Oh, you're dead. Uh oh, backup arrived. Oh, let's throw another bomb. The thing about these bombs is that they'll only go off if someone steps near them, so... Oh, come on, get close. No? Alright. Uh... Um... Not really much to say, I mean... Like I said, this level is kind of shitty. There is a little dialogue uh, at this point if you can get here without, you know, starting a huge firefight, but honestly, it's not really worth listening to. There we go. One thing I've noticed is that... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Phew, that was close. I love how the... Die, you fucking prick. Die. I love how the enemies are constantly shooting even though you're not anywhere near them. Oh, shit. Yeah, alright. That's what, the, that's what the, the crowd came to see. Lots of explosions of death. Die, you fucker. There we go. Die, you fucking prick. Die, die, die. Uh oh. I'm almost dead. Okay. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> okay. Only two left. Let's see if we can do this. No, well, no, not that way. Oh. Oh, man, they got me. They got me. Well, I think this time I'm going to be a little more careful. Because I did play through this stage earlier today, uh, sneaky-like. And I'm pretty confident I can get through this level without killing everything that moves. Not that killing everything that moves isn't a good thing. We don't have to pull that guy out. We can just climb down and go over here. There we go. Of course, everything's falling apart because Dexter doesn't give a shit at all about his employees or their safety. Go through here, go down here. There we go. Just take a look. Yeah, be right there. Have you checked sector two? Hang on. You just can't be too sure. The orders say we gotta stay alert. Yeah, I know, I know. Just relax. We got the place clamped down. Just take a look. Yeah, Bones has got that covered. Wait, wait, have we checked here? Yeah, I've been there. Don't worry, we got it covered. We've been working these mines for a long time. We know the place inside and out. Fine, we just can't be too sure. True. Wait, come on, we won't be doing our job uh... by staring at this map all day. Oh, God, come yeah, on, you you're fucking right. okay. pricks. Just move. Do something. And he's gonna go and look at another map, I guess. This guy won't see me. Nice, he didn't see me. Hit that checkpoint. Boom. Nice. And let's head on down here. And what's gonna happen? Another conversation, I think. Thing. Shit! We can't still make it, can we? Sure as hell better try. Well, you better. The professor might give you an F. You don't want to get an F, do you? Alright. Just act casual. 
I wasn't sure if I picked up the key card or not, so it's a good thing I made it through that door before it closed. Ooh, look at those big old butterflies. That's kind of creepy. I mean, moths, I should say. They're most likely moths. You know, most moths, I don't think... I don't think actually eat after they're moths. They, uh, they eat when they're caterpillars and then, uh... Or maybe not. I, I don't know. But I also know you guys are pros. You understand that business comes first. And when we're at DEF CON 1, business is all there is. We got Delta Crew in to show Carl a good time. And they're promising pictures of the cake. No cake for us tonight, boys. But Alpha Team don't need no stinking cake. You got your assignments. Now go. Die, you fucking motherfuckers. Woo! Yeah. That was fun. Boom! Let's hide. Oh, yeah, you know, I know a huge uh, fucking explosion just went off, but I'm really interested in this game of uh, nuclear war or whatever the fuck this shit is. Yeah, awesome. Oh, I'm looking at Google Earth right now. I'm checking out my, my stats on like fantasy football, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, shit. There's one, there's a person right directly behind me, too. As soon as I enter, I mean, exit hiding, I'm gonna have to, uh... Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, at casual 47. No, yeah, nothing to see here. Uh... Alright, stand down. I don't know what's going on, but keep your guns out. <laughs> awesome, stand down. There's a bunch of fucking bodies all over the place. And you guys want to relax. You know... I'm glad you guys left our armed forces, because you people are losers. Oh... <sighs> Um, huh. I'm gonna wait a few more seconds to see if this guy turns around. I don't want to waste my instinct. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, turn around. Turn around. No? Wow, he's really just gonna stand there. Alright. What's going on here? Anything? Walk behind this jackass. There we go. Okay. There is another little conversation a couple soldiers have um, about the, the big fight coming up. A fight that's been alluded to for a couple levels now, I think. And because I caused all this havoc and mayhem, that's not going to happen, but well, that's okay, right? I mean. Who really gives a shit? Wow, seriously? What the fuck? Oh my god, that can't believe the explosion didn't kill that guy. Alright, so anyway, gotta go over here, turn on the power. Blood pool found, that's awesome. And uh, now the power is on, we can start the generator. And this will uh, start this elevator here. And we're free to, to move on to the, the last section of this wonderful stage. And uh, Boston is going to be seeing another heat wave. Oh yeah, sure, dust off your shoulder, whatever. And this expression on 47's face is weird. It's kind of like childish delight or something. Like he knows he got away with stealing a cookie or something. I wonder if that's the way he looked after his first assassination, hmm? Because clearly 47 takes pride in his work as a killer. Okay. This is the last part. Da -da -da. And there's some fun stuff, I guess. There's a lot of ways to sneak into the actual factory. I'm not going to be showing them all off because this stage is lame. And I don't feel like doing it. And it's kind of bullshit anyway. Um, you can get a chipmunk costume here. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I don't feel like it. 
if you guys want to there we go if you guys want to see that shit you can buy the game yourself so here we have a silent sniper rifle and I'm gonna try to kill some people oh shit hold on a second think about yeah so there was a pre-order bonus um Awesome, he looked right at me and then he died. There was a pre-order bonus called uh, Sniper... Sniper Mission or something like that. And it was... It was, uh, it was Absolution, but it only had sniping in it. And... You gotta... You gotta remember that... The bullets take a little while to, to get to their target. So, you gotta shoot it. Oh, damn, missed. Uh, you gotta shoot ahead of the target a little bit. Um, right. Fuck, where was I going with that? I don't know. Who cares? Look at this guy. Right between the eyes. You don't want to shoot someone in front of someone else because... Oh, really? Really? The, the branch blocked the bullet? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You know, I, I shot slightly ahead of the target, and I didn't have to do with that guy, because, of course, he wasn't moving. There we go. I, I don't really have to kill all these people, I'm just doing it. Look at this guy fucking daydreaming. Wake up! Wake up, you jackass. <laughs> I'll teach you. Oh, gee, someone just got sniped here. I think I'll just stand here and look around. Anyone else? I'm gonna murder you. Why not? You didn't do anything to me, but hey. Uh, yeah, I think I'm bored of that. <laughs> so, there's one outfit in the stage that makes getting into the factory and to the final part of the level very easy, so I'm going to do just that. And, uh, I'm going to miss some content by doing it, but that's okay. That's just fine by me. Man, these people over here don't seem to be aware of the fact that there was a master going on, but that's alright. Makes my life easier. So, there's this guy over here. We want his outfit because we can just stroll on through everything else. Who's the suit? Suit and all. Now that you mention it, he does look familiar. Isn't he, like, some negotiator for peace or something? I think I've seen him on the cover of a magazine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, trying to make some kind of peace deal in South America or some shit. So what's he doing here? That beats me. I'm due for some grub. Right. See ya. <laughs> yep. Um, so... We want to get this guy... Oh, really suspicious, huh? Alright. We want to get this... Oh, key card. Nice. Never turn down a free key card. Actually, actually the wrench is better, because we might not get this guy over into the garage... Uh, in the garage the first time. Oh, great. Awesome. Hey, dude, what's up? At your age, man. What are you, 46, 48? Actually, 47. It's, it's 47, you fucking asshole. There we go. There. Now I'll teach you to make peace deals, you jerk. Peace is boring. Nobody wants peace. Look at this guy and his mustache. He's so young. He's probably like my age, but he's like a bit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, damn it. Shut the. F oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn. Ah. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, shit. Um. Barbecue. 
Uh, damn. So, hmm. I guess I can just try to shoot my way in, right? Oh, fuck. Alright, come on, Sam Fisher. Let's do this thing. Oh, damn, I died again. That's not good. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to cut out this part and skip ahead to... You like getting high? Yeah? Well, stop it. You're acting like a dick. Alright, so, uh, I've snared my prey once again, and this time I'm not gonna bother dumping his body in a dumpster, because why the fuck would I do that? <clears throat> oh, that sure is a nice car he's got there. Oh, and it says winner. Huh. Yeah, it's probably like some kind of a self-affirming, self-talk bullshit, right? <sighs> Wow, these these vixen girls are really popular. Okay, um, so the only thing left to do hey, is to don't tell me what to do, you jackass. I'm a winner, all right? You look at me. Hey, 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 look at me. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to make eye contact because I am a winner. Look at the license plate on the back of my Lamborghini. All right. Oh wait, is it a Lamborghini? Seriously, dude? Uh, you know, it really looks more like a Bentley. I mean, I know it's not a Bentley, but the logo looks kind of like a Bentley, right? I'm just gonna pretend it's a Ferrari. I've never actually driven a Ferrari before. I've seen plenty of them, but they never let the valleys drive them, or the manager doesn't drive them. This is Alpha 5 checking in, all clear. Over. Yeah, that's right, I'm a winner. Dexter Industries, cowboy guy. How do you do, sir? Like a play. Oh, thanks. You're fucking kidding me. These mines are lying. I'm going for a yeah, smoke, dog. Lying. But that's insane. We could all get blown to fucking shit. No one's gonna die. Been working this post for years and nothing's ever happened. Mr. Dexter just wants to prove a point of how safe these little bastards are. Oh, this is just wrong. Relax, okay? Hey there. How you doing? activated and trip before they explode, so... Unless you're going to be doing a spontaneous song and dance, Michael Jackson style, you got nothing to worry about. Oh, really? Well, you know, I would like to blow all you guys to Kingdom Come, but... Well... Should I do it? Sh sh should I just blow them as fucking smithereens? I think I should. Yeah! 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 Ha <laughs> ha Nice! 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 Yes! Burn! Die! Burn! That was fun. Alright, let's leave. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that was, uh... Dexter Industries. And I gotta say, I had a lot more fun playing that than I thought I would. Oh, and, and shit, I, fr I, I left the fan on. Hope that doesn't ruin the last of my audio. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I remember these guys. I murdered them. Let me turn off the fan. Yeah, I murdered these guys, too. And I murdered these guys so hard. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, I'm Nick Meister, and... This is Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'll see you next time.